I'm and I'm all another cuss. Oh, I need it. Some OBJ like this, to the psych ward. It's killing me, but you still with me when I fight hard. And you digging me when I'm eating you. Deal with me when my car's pulled. Could have dealt with me, but you felt for me before I felt for you. You me on that right path. How's everybody doing, man? It's your boy P Doug getting into some more hardcore domination. And I noticed some people telling me they don't like the full gameplay. And I'm starting to think I was thinking that before. If the game, if the videos are too long, because I know the domination compared to the free for all is a, is a large margin for the timestamps. I know some people like you know five to eight minute videos. This is like a twelve minute video. So let me know in the comments or send me a message or something on PS4, YouTube, or one of the social medias if you want. Think the video should be a little shorter. Some of these domination games tend to get really long because you know it's all based upon when we score 200 so but yeah man I'm enjoying the week I got a couple more days before I start finally start training start working out here in this insurance world man and I'm so excited I'm so blessed to be in that opportunity to work for secure select but yeah you guys can probably hear a little bit of um, commentary side so double commentary in the background I forgot I had recorded some party chat in this one, so me and my boy Chance was chopping it up in the background about some zombies that we was finna run, but that's another thing. I'm gonna have some zombie gameplay on here, but I'm not sure if it's better for me to do full games or I'll probably just chop it up into clips. You know, just show the highlights of the of these zombie games. When we try to go for Easter eggs, we gonna I'm gonna start um, trying to do solo Easter eggs as well. Duo, four player Easter eggs, and try to finish all the Easter eggs in one map, and then to compile it all into one kind of crazy epic boss battles. You know, the whole nine. So I'm thinking about doing a little something like that in the future coming up. For all my zombie players out there because I'm a hardcore zombie player you probably can't tell it because I haven't put any zombie videos out but I'm really I really love zombies more than I do multiplayer to tell you the truth or it's it just depends on the day I would say zombies is right up there a little bit higher than multiplayer but yeah man I'm trying to get some streets going got my GI unit on look at this guy he's still there he just killed me on the step and of course he's like I'm not gonna move there's no way there's no other way they can kill me unless they come through these steps right here. When there's like three other <laughs> routes to him. And not to mention his back is turned to nothing. Like he's not up against a wall or anything. Like that's what I don't get on this game. Some people when they camp, at least at least camp good. At least get in a good spot in camp. Dudes be camping laying down in the middle of door thresholds. Laying down. Uh, like right there. Some of them lay down on a step. Like no one's gonna sit, no one's gonna expect me. Sure, the first guy, but <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't understand it, bro. Some of these dudes try to get a little too creative with the camping, but I think I'm, I might be able to get my GI unit right here. That's what it's looking like. Uh, I went too deep. I went too deep in the spawn. I should have just been patient and waited in that little area I was running around in. But I got my war machine. I'm gonna try to see if I can do a little something with it. And lately, I'm not going to even lie, since I've been using it, I've been trying to use it so I can unlock my specialist armor for that uh, badass chick with the, or, you know, I forget the specialist name. Like I said in my last video, I'm terrible at that, but, but I've been killing myself with that war machine. Like, I'll be fading with it, you know, trying to dodge bullets while I'm shooting it, because it's not like cool where I can take a couple hits like I got a a thousand bullet jacket on no i got i'm trying to you know stay alive while i'm using it and i i hit it off against the wall in front of me and kill myself i've seriously done that about 20 times like no lie like 15 20 times since i've been using it you know trying to unlock the armor to get all the armor um for her but i'm pretty close i'm on the last two challenges for the head uh gear and the armor for her so i'm pretty excited as i can move to the my favorite little um Seraph specialist 
and get some combat focus going so I can really start turning it up for you. Ah! I wonder if he hijacked back to life. <laughs> he was just standing there. What were they doing in there? That's what I'm talking about. Like, me, I hate, I'm a, I'm a loner on this game. Like, I'm a lone wolf. Like, I don't get near me. Stay away from me. Don't, don't come near me. Because I know you don't have ghost on. I know you don't have dead silence. I know you're going to give my position away. Like, <laughs> I don't trust anybody on this game. I'm talking about, I'll be playing with some of the coolest guys, you know, do some cool with my friends and everything, but Call of Duty, bro, we, everybody's solo, do your own thing, we ain't moving in groups, we ain't moving in packs, we're not getting in spots and, you know, we're just freestyling. So the last thing I want to be is next to a teammate. Cause first thing I'm going to do, as soon as I hear UAV go up, something like that, I'm, yo, I'm next to like three guys and I bet two of them don't have go, you know, that's, that's what I'm thinking, so I don't like doing that. I don't like being close to my teammates, camping next to my teammates. Only time I'll risk it doing something like that is if I'm like one kill away from a, a really hot score streak. But other than that, I don't like, you know, chilling next to my teammates like that. I just don't get why people do that. But, you know, to each his own. But as you see, starting the second half, got three kills. Start off the game, starting the second half strong. I wish I could start my games like that. Um... I think the curse is dying down though, because it's been a little while since I've gotten a super high, you know, mothership GI unit, um, some gameplay like that, so, <clears throat> the fact that I can finally get it means something, it's gotta, it's gotta mean something, it's gotta mean the curse is broken, so maybe I can start doing good for you guys to start off the game and end the game instead of just ending the game good. Oh, I seen somebody. I'm gonna wait for him. I guess he's not coming. What did he? Did he? What did he do? He, he dropped something. He's like, oh sh! I dropped my grenade. He ran back. He ran, he ran back to pick up some ammo. Fell off his chest or something. <laughs> then came back up the steps. I don't know what that was. Up, oh, up, oh, and I got him again. What are you doing, dude? But yeah, I love uh, I love lobbies like this. Like. You can look at the rankings and be like, oh, these guys are good. But once you play them, bro, you, you, you get a feel for people and how they're going to play, what their game size are like. What are you? I'm sorry. I can't even continue. I got to go get this guy. What is he doing back there? And why are they spawning me? Ten feet. Ten foot. Um, ten steps away from me. And he kills me again. Yeah, the last person you want is me on you trying to get you. I'm going to get this guy. There's no way he's getting away from me. <laughs> I'm the last person you want, uh, honey, you down. There we go. All right. Oh, free kill. All right, I'll take it. I don't know where he came from. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> yes, yeah. A lot of these guys are using heavy guns on this game. I can just tell how they're so slow to get the gun up. Nobody's really running around. A lot of them are kind of sitting still camping, you know, set up with heavy LMGs, you know. So I like games like that because I can just really just be mobile, but... Gameplay is where it's basically a lot of people like me trying to flank and, you know, get high score streaks. If you see a lot of people in the lobby running combat focus, that's probably not the best lot. You might want to. I, I, I tend to stay in lobbies and, you know, chance it out, but I don't like getting in lobbies like that because it's hard. Everybody's using the same flanking routes as you. You basically got to fight your way to the spawn just to get back there. And then once you get back there, hope you don't die from them, you know, trying to stop you because they, they doing the same thing you're doing, you know, so. It all just depends on the lobby, but as you can see, I got my talent. See if we can get some kills right here. Um, I've been liking the talent lately. I've been running talent. Um, I want to say orbital V set. I know it's called something on, on this. I know it's called something else, but I'm gonna call it orbital for now. <laughs> I know it's not called orbital V set, but I like running talent orbital V set and uh, GI units. But I'm gonna cover this dude on B, see if he can get it real quick. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh wow, they really don't want him to get B. Let me see if I. Oh, he's staying alive, okay. Ah, I think he died. Oh, we got B though, that's good. It's all good. Alright, that was a good use of the talent right there. And I got a couple kills, so I probably got a nice little bit of points right there. A nice little chunk of points. See if we can um, get that orbital. 
because that's when the big boy streaks start. Once you hit orbital and everything after that is big boy streaks. I consider big boy streaks. Everything under that is, is just, you know, mediocre. Little baby streaks. But I'm going to see if I can get this GI unit real quick. Y'all know it's coming. Y'all just don't know when. Up, oh, easy kill. He's over there shooting. He's worried about the UAV, so you already know he's not paying attention. <laughs> Go ahead and take him out. Ah, oh, that's the worst. You look in the right way and you just don't pull the trigger in time. But yeah, let me see if I can. I really want this GI unit. I've been trying to get some GI unit gameplay for a long. It's like I get it when I'm not recording. And as soon as I record, it's like I have the hardest time, you know, playing good so I can get it. But like usual, right when I'm getting close to something. Okay, here we go. All right, I got my talent. I'm pretty close. I think I might be one kill away. Let me turn the music off. I got to focus. Beast mode, here we go. Got a little beast mode right there, a little, a little streak going. I think I was about to get nuclear for a minute there. No, I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I was nowhere near nuclear. But I love the GI unit, man. The dude's just running around, dropping people. My goodness, overkill. Jeez, did y'all see that? <laughs> but he killed me with the first grenade, and then the second grenade blew me off the roof. <laughs> They must have known I got that GI. They must have known I got that GI unit, excuse me. They must have known I was eating. Cause they killed me. They overkill right there. They wanted me dead for sure. Golly. But yeah, man, look at him. Just look at him. He's a beast. Just running around, freaking robot. I remember running into the GI unit. Bruh, that's the worst feeling ever. Cause he immediately claps you. <laughs> but this time I got him on my team. We, we almost came back. We were a little behind, but we couldn't get the win, man. But I got some GI unit gameplay for you guys. Please make sure to sub if you haven't already. And you guys have a blessed day, man. Thanks for coming out and watching my channel.